Okay, and here we are, chat. We're all good to go. So welcome to Clock Tower. This is a game that I have pretty much made it a tradition now to kind of like replay this and its sequel every year. And it's been fun. But for this year, I wanted to do something a little different. So this time I have this thing called the Deluxe Mod set up for this game. And it adds quite a few quality of life changes here and also add some content from the rare and obscure PS1 port called Clock Tower the First Fear. But, um, let me get into it. First of all, this, uh, this mod also adds compatibility for the Super Nintendo mouse, which the original does not have. So I can control this game with a mouse. I tested it. It's pretty cool. We're gonna hit game start. If you've never seen this game before, it's a comfy little horror game on the Super Nintendo. Never was originally released in North America. This is a fan translation. Let's give it a go. Game start. Let's watch the intro and get comfy. Raised in the granite orphanage, Jennifer and her friends were wanted as adopted daughters. Pardon me, I was just scrambling the setup here. I feel a little out of breath. It happened in September. Ooh. Spooky. How's the audio chat? This game goes from quiet to loud because of its nature. So let me know if I need to make any adjustments. Laura, hurry up. We want to be there before sunset. Yeah, it's low right now. Don't worry, it's supposed to be. Miss Mary? Yes. From now on, what kind of place will we be living in? That's the fifth time you asked. Don't worry, it's a very nice place. Oh, this game is so comfy. We're almost there, see? And this year, chat, in addition to replaying this in the sequel game, I wanted to finally replay Clock Tower, uh, The Struggle Within, the one with Alyssa. It's been years since I played that game, and I want to replay it. <laughs> all its weird adventure game elements and all. And finally do a, a real playthrough of Clock Tower 3 for the first time. What a huge place. Yeah. Well, thank you for all the gifts and that, everyone. I appreciate that right now. The main hall's gigantic. I gotta go get Mr. Barrows. Everyone wait here. Okay. Luckily, the quick start option on the menu lets you start the game skipping this entire intro, which is a very smart decision. Okay. All right, I have control. Look at this chat. This is a Super Nintendo game, and I'm controlling it with a mouse. That's wild. Let me just do this now. Hey, Anne. You want to know what kind of guy Mr. Barrows is, right? Yeah. Talk to her again. Hey, Anne. You want to know what kind of guy Mr. Barrow is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? Is something wrong? This house makes me uneasy. All right. I'm going to walk a little more over here. I doubt I'll ever get used to this place. Hmm? Heh. <laughs> Lot's paranoid. Hmm. Is it Lot or Lottie? I've never been clear on that. I've talked to everyone once. The intro's slow, which is why they give you the option to skip. Mary, she's taken a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? No. I'll go look for her. Ooh. Let's go looking for her, chat. 
So I believe the action button is uh, right click in this time. So I'm just gonna mash right click when I need to. The main hall. Girls? Come on, this isn't funny. Hmm. All right. Let's get into it now, chat. The game's finally begun. All right. So a lot of the this game makes a or this mod rather makes a lot of little changes that oh, that's a rare event. That startled me. This game adds a lot of little changes like increasing your movement speed in on stairs and stuff and also making it so that you can um hmm obviously like yeah there's using the mouse there's a few extra events ported over from the PlayStation version this is still the Super Nintendo game I'm playing though pile of trash pocketed a rock yeah I know I need that rock there's a deep crack in the wall it's crumbling only thing I might be slightly worried about is that I was I was warned that this mod moves a key item to its location in the PlayStation version. So some guides for the Super Nintendo might be kind of uh misleading on that. You also now I can run now because we're out of the intro. It also makes it so Jennifer's stamina recovers faster now, too. Let's go over this way. Till stuff happens. Oh? What could that be, chat? It also makes it so that you can run to hot spots too. I'm not using that enough. I don't know if it works on doors. Here we go. What could possibly go wrong here? There's just some ominous music. You just pull back the curtains there, Jennifer. Huh? Uh? L Laura? There he is, chat. The scissor man. Now run like hell before he gets you. Open the door, Jennifer. So this game can be, like, absurdly short. And it's an old adventure game, so no matter what you do, there's always, like, a little bit of crust to it. He's coming for the Teddy Ursus. He's gonna chop up our plushies. Remember, this is her man. So, chat, let me show you the most amazing part about this mod. Jennifer now runs up the stairs. In the original game, she can only walk up them, even when she's being chased, and it takes, like, more than 30 seconds. The Scissorman's coming to get ya. Ker Do Kermit voice Scissorman? <laughs> He's not here yet. Run, Teddy, run! I hear a phone going off. Jennifer doesn't get tired as easily now, too. Come on. Alright, get in there before he gets ya. Alright. Click this, and mash right click. There we go. More of the input for this might be weird. Alright. There he is. He's so angry. No, I'm not here. Go away. Okay. What a start. Now he's left us, left us alone. Some broken tableware. Taking our time. Seeing as much as the game as we can. Just re-familiarizing re myself a bit with stuff. Okay, so dot dot dot. I'm pretty sure that means turn the lights on so you can search, right? Some of this game's, again, old adventure game stuff. Okay. Okay, no, I need the rope. That was it. Some rope. Picked up some rope. Okay. 
Okay, just put the mouse down and check things like that. There we go. A can of insecticide. Picked up some insecticide. Feel free to remind me if I miss stuff, chat. Because this game is real annoying when you walk past an important thing you need. Again, it's a little weird and easy to miss stuff. Okay. And this, yeah, this here is also a little annoying to deal with. Looks like a bird's nest. Now that I check the bird's nest, I can check the stick. You poke it, and the bird comes in. Oh. All right, then. Okay. All right, now she's pushing it. Okay, game. Why is this room like this every time? The nest is full of eggs and junk. There's a key in here. A key is inside the nest. Pocket of the West Wing key. All right, we got it. We're good now. And it's very annoying sometimes. Sometimes she just doesn't want to push the box. It's very strange. All right. You have Jennifer a second to recover. Isn't the key being in there RNG? I don't recall that. Um, she's not resting. Do I have to? Should I just have to use the speed up button for this? There we go. I think I will. Supposed to, supposedly increase the speed for that, but still too damn long. Okay. Oop. Let me go down here. Pretty sure the key is for the door downstairs. Let me check. Come on, Jennifer. That leaves out to the outside, I believe. I guess the rock wasn't for that. Hmm. I guess I'm just confused. Run and check it out. Locked. Okay. I'm gonna wait for her to get back to position. Uh key doesn't show up in my inventory. Okay. Let's check over here. Open it up. Okay, this room. I turn the lights. An iron frying pan. Gas tank for the stoves. We go over here and get the important thing. A ham was put in here. Picked up some ham. You need that ham because it's super important. Let me check here. Some drinks are lined up here. You can drink that right now, but you don't want to do that. <laughs> you never want to do that. Oops, I meant to go to the arrow. Feed the ham to the teddy. Teddy wants a ham sometimes. There's something shiny here. What? Bugs! Okay. All right, yeah, that sets you automatically to red, because it's annoying. So now let me just grab the insecticide. Uh, is she not going to use it? Maybe I need to reset the room first. Let me do that. Okay. Play it safe. 
Thanks for getting this up there, Yo-Yo. I appreciate it. Now then. Okay, now it lets me use it. I thought you needed to activate the bugs first before you do that. Again, old adventure game crust. I think the box room speaks for itself. It's a very clear source of rage. Spray the insecticide. Because you clearly saw I was trying to move that box, and the rules of it are just really silly. Okay. A key is left behind. All right, Jennifer, so what key did you pick up? All right, you're not going to tell me what key. Another problem here, huh? Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to do this. You're not going to rest in this room, it seems. Okay. And the nest key is also RNG as well, which is also weird. Hang on. Just do this. Doesn't want to rest. There we go. Yeah, they increased the time, or they lowered the amount of time it takes for her to rest, but it still takes way too long for her to go into rest mode. It's like such a huge problem in this game. It's like an, it's like almost impossible to play without using the speed up key just for that. Because you literally can't do things unless you recover your energy. It's so silly. Okay. Check over here. That's one of the things they definitely kind of fixed in um, a car key in the sequel for sure. Pocketed the car key. All right, chat. So let's get out of here. I can get out of here with this car. But... The others. What about them? What about them, Jennifer? What should I do? All right, Jennifer's had enough. She's leaving. And just like that, I win. All right. Now, is there a way for me to speed this up? No, I got to use the speed up for this. Let me do that. Speed up is like, this is like one of the only Super Nintendo games. I just, I, speed up is like a mandatory just to play it because of how it is. All right. So yeah, there's a thing after the credits. That's why we skip them. Yeah. So if you just leave and go through the car, Scissor Man is in the back seat. All right, back to title screen. Make sure you don't accidentally hit game start or quick start. You want to go to continue. And now I'm back here with all my items. I don't think there's any practical use of picking up the car keys outside of just leaving there, right? I believe there's another ending you can get with the car. If you go, if you've confirmed that all the other girls are dead and go to the car, it just gives you a different ending. I don't know if there's an extra scene at the end of it, though. Like, I think it's like identical, if I'm not mistaken. Can't pick that up. So let's go. Why does he lay in the car and how do you not see him? I don't know. Because horror movie logic, I guess. This game was obviously very inspired by, like, horror movies at the time. Okay. Oops. Wrong thing there. That's fine, that's fine. West Wing key is probably for upstairs, then. There's the phone going. So, I know there's a couple of rules to this. Feel free to remind me. Oops. Come on. Wrong thing. If you do something at the wrong time, hang on. I believe what can happen is, uh, like, you lose access to seeing, like, a certain body somewhere in a certain room. Uh, 
Not so sure I need to be here yet. The door seems to be stuck. Okay. Jennifer apparently knows a scream came from outside. Go and check. So this is another annoying thing about this game that's a little silly. Anne. Oh no. So, if you don't check this window, you will meet her alive later. You checking the window is what kills her. <laughs> Which is very absurd. Adventure game logic, chat. Adventure game logic. Okay. Now we're on the other side of the house. Let's take a look around. Some of the RNG stuff does mess me up a bit in this game. Okay. Jennifer needs to sit down. Yeah, that's me holding the speed up key for that long for her to do that. They did not... They really need to make this instance, honestly. This mannequin is wearing a dress. Looks nice. Oh! Yeah, don't move, Jennifer. Um... Yeah, there we go. Push. That one really went for a while. Oh, she tripped. Get up. Jennifer can trip while running, which is also a fun little mechanic. We boop that lad. We absolutely wreck that lad. He's coming for us, chat. Look at me running upstairs. Look at me with this game becoming playable. Okay. Let's look for a hiding spot. Ah! I get why they have the tripping, though. It's to build suspense and make you panic. I think I can go back to that first hiding spot. So I'm already... Oh, this is a different hall. Or not. Use the gold key. Oh, never mind. There's nowhere to hide in here. Come on. Come on. You can hear him coming in the previous room. Okay, mash right click. It's close by to this spot. There's a lot of missable little, like, little events in this game. It's meant for you to just kind of wander and be confused, so that you can kind of see the stuff like Scissorman does. But it has the it, it has definitely has the problem that a lot of horror games have where like it gets too confusing for its own good and you just get annoyed wandering. As much as I love this game, it has a lot of really like weird crusty issues. Nothing. Some broken tableware. All right, just going to heal her. There we go. That entire time I was holding the speed up key. And <laughs> she just doesn't want to get out. Thank you for the resub there, friend. Appreciate it. Share with Teddy Ursa's chat. You wouldn't want Teddy Ursa to be sad. You wouldn't want Teddy Ursa to be in this mansion. That certainly wouldn't be very wholesome. Use the gold key. All right. Turn this on. Okay. Looks like a bureau. There's some women's clothes here. This one's different. Picked up a black robe. I don't remember what this phone does. Let's find out. <laughs> this game is absurdly short. Like, if you know what you're doing, especially with this mod where you move faster on stairs, the phone line's been cut. Okay, that's why. 
Um, you can finish it in like a half hour. And most of it's just walking. The phone line's been cut. I don't want to check this because Jennifer drinks it. Because she's an idiot. <laughs> Comfortable couch. Feel free to remind me what items I need for the end game again, chat. Various beverages. There's a couple there's a couple of them in RNG locations that are determined when you start a new game. And the game can be very picky about some really silly stuff. Like this is definitely like a game that's more fun to watch than play, in my opinion. To be perfectly honest. I'm just like, I like old stuff like this. Horror games that are a relic of the past, jank and all. But Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within, that one is absolutely, like, not fun to play. It's more fun to watch. That game is like a game design disaster because the studio was literally going out of business and they had to release it. Okay, let's go over this way now. No, there's nothing there. Okay. I am going to play Clock Tower 3 this season. Again, it's kind of just become a tradition for me to do like a one-off of this game. And I figured I could do something with it. Like, this mod is nice. It adds like a bunch of tiny things. It's, an, it's just something and an excuse to replay it. And I didn't press uh, I didn't press the run button. I accidentally double clicked. So now she's stuck walking. This is how long it normally takes to go down the stairs. <laughs> okay. All right. So now let's go over this way. I could have used speed up, but I wanted to make a point. I wanted to show it off for those that didn't really see. All right. Sounds like someone's getting home. I don't know if you can hear anything, chat. Let's check out the rest of these rooms. Now that we don't have scissormen. There we go. Don't think there's anything in here at all now. You just see the body, and that's it. Looks like the shower's working. I don't have to go right now. I believe there's also a missable scare here. Hang on. Yeah, here it is. A lot of people miss this one. Mostly because the door is blocking the sink most of the time. Imagine turning on a, a tap and, like, little bugs come out. That's, like, my worst nightmare. <laughs> okay. Let's leave. All right. Ew. Ew, indeed. Okay. Check this right here. Alright, here's this. Um, I suppose I can use this as an opportunity to show off a, a silly thing in this room. Okay. There's a couple things in this room I want to show, actually. Right, this is where you find the perfume, another thing you need. First, let me check the mirror. Oh, no! Why does that happen? Why is the mirror suddenly like that? It's so strange to me. Okay, it's gonna load in title screen again. Being careful, I don't want to click... I don't want to restart anything. I want to make sure I hit continue. Another thing you can do... Hang on. I remember correctly how this works. First you open this. He's saying, I'll kill you. 
so now that we're back in place here. I'm trying to click it, but it won't work. There we go. Again, this is very picky sometimes. There we go. Caught it. Perfectly fine. Now we just heal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jennifer. You feel like, uh... There you go. Looks like the left bed isn't used. Okay. So now we have to pixel hunt. Yeah, this spot, this specific spot on the, uh, the drawers here. This had me stuck for so long. A small bottle of perfume. Hmm. It smells like Miss Mary's. Picked up perfume. So yeah, you need a lot of these random items for like one part at the end. And if you don't have them, well, you're basically just stuck. So silly. Okay, go in here. So I think there's another possible RNG item in here, if I remember correctly. Back home from work. Welcome, Koja. I love horror games, even if they're like... Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Again, as much as I love this game and there's so much I can like about it, it's one of those games where like I cannot like really recommend people play it. <laughs> it's, it's If you try and play it without a guide, it gets really infuriating. Because of a lot of stuff you just have to know. Um, all right, so this box sometimes has an item in it. It's either the I I think this is the item. It's either in this box or it's either in the crow's nest, right? Empty. Okay. So I think, yeah, I got it from the nest, so it's not spawned there. Okay. Don't want to check that, do you? Check this table here. In there the sequel's a lot more um better with because it gives you like a bunch of mini areas with lots of scares and stuff but it still has some really annoying parts like if you miss an item in chapter one you can't beat the game looks like it's broken all right now they never released this outside of japan this is a fan translation okay Any noise in the background there people getting home i guess Okay, turn it off. Can I check these curtains again? Check the window. It is really nice to be able to use a mouse with this, though. I'm pretty sure this game originally came out before the Super Nintendo mouse. That's why there's no compatibility with it. Completely dark outside. What time is it now? Okay, it must be a different curtain somewhere. Okay, so I think I got all I need. And it's also weird because you don't click on doors on the side. You have to just run into them. There we go. This game did a lot of stuff that, like, no other games were doing at the time, though. Especially, like, I think, like, the sequel is a spe uh, doesn't get enough credit for that. There's a rare chance of eyes being seen in this in this window. I don't recall if it's ever happened to me on stream, but it happened when I was testing. There's a courtyard outside. There's courtyard outside. Okay. I wish I could double check what keys I picked up. Over here. Okay. Let me run over here. Was this key locked? Locked. Okay, just double checking. Let's let her run up the stairs now, chat. Why don't we? And take a look around. Exploration in, in the original can be really annoying because Jennifer walks so damn slow. Okay. You can't go over here. Not mistaken, this is a place that... This thing over here collapses, right? 
we find out. And yeah, that I think this is another flaw of the game where you literally spend energy by running. There we go. There we go. The other side's too far away. I believe that's another thing they changed in the sequel. I'm making sure I get all the beats here. Let's see. Oh, great. I didn't click fast enough. Whatever. I'm going to do that. All right. There you go. I'm going to run back over this way. Like it's time for me to return to the West Wing. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, hang on. Clearly I was misremembering about what the rock is for. For this? I think something breaks this, right? Oh, it was that, okay. Okay, I mean, looks like a courtyard. Okay. that tree in the foreground. They were proud of that. Don't remember if you can check any part of the pool. There's two ways to reach this little hut here. Either you get to it yourself or you get to it by being captured. Which is what happens when you uh oh this is the door that's stuck. Let's fix this. Alright, now it's fixed. Um, if you drink the random drink, uh, Jennifer gets knocked out and she wakes up in the in like the little shed here. I think in order to get one of the better endings, you have to get captured, which is another annoying thing, right? Hmm. What is all that there? Let me clear on that. Hello? Ugh. Ugh. Who are you? Uh. Food. Alright, give him the ham. Um. Who are you? Simon B Barrows. This man... Is Barrows? Okay, talk to him again now. He's no longer looking at Jennifer. Anything else? So, if you get captured, you end up inside the cell with him. And if you don't have the ham in your inventory, he literally just, like, grabs you and, it, and you, it's a dead end. I guess it's implied that he eats you. That's why you need the ham. Who would have thought a ham would come in handy like that? That doesn't look like an item I can get in there. Nom nom. He's no longer looking at Jennifer. Now that I've done that. Something activate when I try and leave here now. Nope, I guess not. Hmm. Things may be a bit out of order, but I can always quick start to do it again. We've opened this up. I'm just kind of trying to play the game and show off as much as I can. Honestly, like, I could just bring up a checklist and kind of just, like, go through the game super quickly. Which is what kind of what I did last year. But there's a lot of stuff to just kind of see from different uh, angles here. It's comfy, chat. That's right. It's comfy to watch a horror game. Okay, so I think if I right-click and then speed up. Yeah, that activates the... activates that faster. The controls in this game are very unintuitive at times. Check over here. There is also two rooms in this game. 
that it's RNG, like they're literally swapped and I it's really weird. Like same doors, just the the inside is just two different rooms just shuffled around each time. And on the save file at the start. So let's check this. Library. Switch is broken. The author's name is faded. I think there's a book here I have to check for something. In order to solve one puzzle later... Oh, slip of paper. Hold the demon idol with great care. A tree in a forest, a person in idols on the statue. Okay, that's good. There's a puzzle later in the game that even if you know the answer, you can't solve it because Jennifer has to look at something to know the answer herself. <laughs> so silly. Looks like a very old magazine. A maternity magazine. Okay. Check over here. This crevice looks pretty deep. There's something shiny in there. Do I have anything for that? Uh, I think rope is for climbing down something later. I know what these are for. Okay, she's taking a rest. Something shiny in there. Games are comfy, chat. I really love horror games, and again, I I talk about it like every year when I play Clock Tower. I always say like, damn, I gotta play some more horror games to be comfy. But too much stuff kind of happens, especially this year in the summer. Okay. But I've actually been sticking with my promise this time. I'd say we got Silent Hill 1 and 2 done. And we did that Resident Evil 4 randomizer, which is pretty scary, honestly. Verdugo literally sprinting at me on the farm. Lots of technical books. Oh, is this what I need? Nope. I thought the question mark was a realization for her. That's fine. Um, yeah. I end up doing a handful of horror games throughout the year. I want them to de definitely become a bit more regular, though. Like, I did try to do, like, uh, was it Clock Tower 3 a couple years ago? But, like, I was having, like, a lot of stuff going on that month, and I wasn't in a good mood for it. Seems the door is locked. Let me try here. Even now with today, chat, uh, like I'm streaming so late today because my neighbors are doing construction during the day right now. So I don't have a choice. Even that can make me a little frustrated and be like, oh, do I want to? Oh, uh, this must be one of the new rooms. I don't recognize this. Uh, can I turn the lights? Okay, so yeah, as a reminder, the deluxe mod adds a few of the extra con like tiny amounts of extra content that are in the the playstation port called clock tower the first fear and i know that that game that version has like an extra room or two and i think this is one of them nothing i can check but the mirror what is this i definitely don't remember this room from the original version ah done with work for the day all good okay Nothing here, I guess. What is this for? It's just aesthetic. You know what I think this is for? Um, so, so um, if you've ever seen me play this game, you know that the magenta hallways, for whatever reason, there's a door in the hallway that you can't enter or interact with. I think they just put this room here in the PlayStation version to be like, yeah, yeah, we forgot to put something there. <laughs> it's funny. Me hydrate. Thank you, Demo. Okay. But as I was trying to say, so some of the differences in this deluxe mod, like, I think as a viewer, you're not really going to notice too many of them unless I specifically point them out. Another hall like this. Nothing I can check, right? Um. No, it doesn't seem like it. But I know that there's also like some errors as well in the Super Nintendo version that this version, cor this mod corrects. Like there's a couple of unused sprites and some animations that they implement correctly. Um, stretch, yeah, I can do that. 
stretch while Jennifer sits there for a second, why don't I? Um, the parrot, fun fact about that, if that thing kills you in the original game, um, as the game fades out to the game over screen, I stretched, there we go. Jennifer's animation will actually load her to get back up as the game fades out. And that's a mistake in the original version, because you're supposed to be dead. <laughs> it's so silly. And I know that's another thing that was fixed in this. Okay, I think the rope is used for this staircase over here. What I want to do for this year's replay of um, Clock Tower on PS1 is I want to do a big upload where I get the best ending for both Jennifer and uh, Helen Routes. Okay, this room. Check this. Last year I only did the Jennifer route. A corpse of a crow. Ooh. You can save people in this game, but the ways to do it is very arbitrary, and it's not even canon either. The canon uh, ending for this game is that you don't save any of your friends. <laughs> Uh-oh. I agitated the crows. Single bird is left in the cage. Okay, rats scurry about in here. Hang on, if I interact with that when it's dark. Okay. I forget if I need something here for this. Guess not. Only the one part there. Is she not going to do anything with it? Can't check the crow corpse anymore. You gotta pixel hunt a bit. Again, as a viewer, it's weird, because stuff like the mouse support, like, that's a huge difference for me as the player, but you as a viewer, you're like, what's so, what's so deluxe about this? I don't get it. Like, a lot of these changes, I have to straight up tell you myself, but there we go. sound stopping. So she's not going to interact with anything. I can almost swear that you're supposed to open this so that she... Oh, I think I remember. I think I remember. This is another pr uh, thing that's poorly telegraphed in this game. Um, You need a key to open this, but it doesn't tell you it's locked. <laughs> it's so silly. All right. So yeah, the thing about the names is uh, the PS1 game was released as Clock Tower 1 over here in North America, because this game was never released in North America. And then there was a spin-off game called Clock Tower Ghost Head, and for North America, they just titled that one as Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within, even though our Clock Tower 1 was actually Clock Tower 2. And Clock Tower 3 is the same name between regions. It's a very silly situation. Hmm... Hmm. It's a record player. It's unplugged. Nothing here. So I believe that was those curtains over there. They have a chance of uh, having. Okay. These curtains are one are an RNG spot where they could have a key item in there. Check these first. That or Scissorman pops out. I believe that's how it works. There's only junk inside. Again, something I'm just worried about is, uh... That one extra key that's from the PlayStation version. Where is that now? I have no idea. Yep, there he is. We got the bad RNG. Hey, I'm gonna come get you. I'm gonna come get ya! I have to wait for him to be in position before I can move. <laughs> there we go. It has to load the gameplay. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Alright. So I want to run to the library, uh, if I can get that. Let's go. He's gonna get you. 
Y'all really want me to do the Kermit voice for Scissorman. There we go. As long as you hear the music, you are in chase mode. And you have to do something to get rid of them. Is it this room? I got a giant pair of scissors and I'm gonna kill you, mister. Oh, it's this room. I can't do anything there. The PS1 version of this game is called Clock Tower The First Fear, so if you happen to be familiar with that specific version, uh, let me know where that extra- where that key has been moved to. Some of the extra content is based on that version. Yeah, that's why the useless room is there. Okay. This is one of my- this is one of my favorite ways to get rid of Scissorman. We're hiding. Also, uh, Scissorman doesn't normally open all the doors as well. That's another change they fixed. Sometimes he just walks through them. Ah! <laughs> he just- he just poofs out of existence! Oh, that's so bad looking. But it gets rid of him. Alright. Uh, forget what item I need for the crevice there. He just vanished. That might have actually been a glitch. I think they were supposed to fix something there. I might be mistaken. I clipped him out of bounds with that. Um, let me just heal myself. I mashed potatoed him. Alright, let's keep going this way. He's in the back rooms now. Shelf beat scissors. There we go. This game gets a lot of, like, uh, praise and recognition, but I feel like the second game, like, the PS1 game, uh, that also has Jennifer in it, I feel like that game does so many, like, revolutionary things, and there's no other game quite like it. And I wish... Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't walk far enough. Come on. Is that a dead end? Oh, I guess I hit the end. All right. I don't remember what key because the game doesn't display your keys properly. Right, here's the piano room. I can't check the curtains anymore, as you can see. Double check and everything. Check the lights. Things are coming back to me as I'm playing this. I was a little worried. And just a low key was a little bit worried that uh, at the beginning, if I was going to be able to remember some stuff like the stuff with the, like the stuff with the box in particular, that was just I hate that box. I don't know why. Like some like someone mentioned, I think it has something to do with the RNG of the item being in the crow's nest where like. I maybe I didn't do something enough to determine if the RNG was there or not, and because I didn't, that didn't happen. The game doesn't let you interact with the box, and it's it's so weird. The box is just lame and infamous. No one likes it. Okay. Okay. So let's go upstairs now. I didn't hit the um. I didn't double tap, so I'm walking up the stairs now. <laughs> it's annoying to do that, but it's literally a limitation of the game. It's fine. Okay, just a simple plank of wood. Maybe. Oh yeah, I remember this. Hang on. The first floor can be seen. Now Jennifer decides there's a use for the wood. <laughs> it's a little annoying when that happens, huh? Okay. Hmm. I wonder if there's something there. The wall looks painted over. Yeah, the statue's butt space. Don't need that right now. What? Now let's go over there. That's supposed to be a not-so-subtle clue that there's a way to get into something. Hang on a second, what did I just... 
What's with the statue's hands? Why can't I check that? Aha! An idol is... Wait, what? I think this is the... I think this is the, the moved key item. Holy crap, frickin'... I cannot believe I stumbled across that. I, I swear I didn't know that was there. They moved the idol to that? I, I never would have even seen that, chat. Did it look like it was holding something? I, I didn't see it. Oh my... I probably just saved myself like, uh, wow, he actually re she actually recovered fast. Good job, game. Probably just saved myself 40 minutes of screaming at a walkthrough site. <laughs> it said it was a Wait a second, the library said that? Was that the line of text I missed? I, did I didn't see that. I may have just read, like, skimmed it reading it out loud, but it did actually see that. I thought that was just generic text I needed to know for one room later. Oh, what it said, picking it up. Yeah, I know that. All right. Oh. Oh, damn it. It's him. It's Chance. It's either Scissorman or it's, um... I thought you were talking about the book from the library saying it. Sorry. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, I think I can do this. Hang on. Doesn't look like it actually. I'm going here. The chase music is really good. I like it too. Oops. I don't remember what's in here. Oh, this was this room? I could have sworn that was a different one. Okay. I don't remember these rooms even were. Oh. Crap. I can't check that door in chase mode. Oh, that's another annoying thing. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't even press anything. I didn't know that could happen. Okay. Let's go this way. I don't remember where there's a room to, uh... Oh, this? It feels like someone's watching. Yeah, but you gotta find a hiding spot, Jennifer. We'll worry about this after. Oh. But it's the door I can't use. Okay. Um, I think it's only the sequel where, after a certain amount of time, he just gives up chasing you. I didn't mean to walk in here again. I thought I was going to a different one. Sorry. Okay. A problem with getting lost in this game, if you haven't noticed, is that all the hallways look the damn same. Oh, the other bathroom. Well, just let me hide here. No, it won't. I gotta get out. There's nothing to click on here. You can't click on a bunch of stuff while in this mode. I'm getting lucky. He hasn't shown up yet. He hasn't lo been able to load into any rooms I've been in. I still can't believe I found this the idol like that. That's a ridiculous. That I that item is so important, and it's definitely gonna be the moved key item. There's a hole in the floor there, that's weird. The sprite work looks looks so nice in this game, I love it. Okay, this goes back here. Ah. Uh, this up. Yeah, if I, like, if I just go AFK, AFK, he's gonna be, like, in the room, you'll hear the scissors. 
I guess I'm gonna have to go over here, like, geez. Uh, oh no, not this. Yeah, use the gold key. No! Miss Mary. Glad to see you're safe, Jennifer. No. Hang on. Aw, oh, great. Everything's going to be just fine. This is a cutscene. I'm stuck now. I'm about to get caught. And now, once you're- if- when you get caught, a problem with that is that, uh... Drink this, it'll calm you down. Don't. Don't, you idiot. Oh, great. Huh? Yeah. Because of this, something gets moved. And now I can't do anything about it. That's so dumb. I didn't even mean to open this door, either. Uh? Where? He's no longer looking at Jennifer. And now she's gonna die, because I activated this cutscene, I think. Jennifer, you're okay! Body? Half a sec. I'll get you out. There we go. Now get out of here. Before Mary comes. Well, at least by getting caught, I'm showing more extra scenes, right? Quickly, Jennifer. That's one positive, I guess. We're just gonna leave him behind. Hey, I'm just getting the cannon ending now. A voice is heard outside the shed. Now isn't that a pity? Jennifer? Don't move a muscle. I will punish you. Let me, let me just go ahead and hide. You're not supposed to hide for this, but I'm showing off as much extra stuff as I can. So I officially am on the cannon route, chat. All friends dead. That pop was a gunshot. She just killed body. There's no point in hiding. Come out wherever you are, Jennifer. And if you hide in that box, this happens. Why do I have control here? Is this new? No, she sees. Hiding in a place like this. Just like a thief. Dead. All right. Unfortunate. It happens, though. All I was trying to do was get away from Scissorman, and I walked into the, the, the cutscene with Mary where she catches you. Alright, now I gotta sit through this again. Her face is really creepy, yeah, isn't it? Alright. So yeah, if you don't have the ham, you're pretty much got to start over here. If he didn't pick up on the fact when he says he says he's Simon Barrows, um, he's he's uh Miss Mary's uh husband, and he's forced to live like this for some reason. Jennifer, you're okay. So we saw the other two girls die. The first was in the tub, but the second was the one that fell out the window. Now, get out of here before Mary comes. Should probably just speed this up a tad. There we go. A voice is heard outside the shed. Now, oh, isn't that a pity? Gosh. Jennifer, don't move a muscle. 
Yeah, that girl doesn't die if you don't look out the window to see her die. That's because that's how that works. So what you're supposed to do here is this. Boop. Jennifer, take the gun. Okay, no. You should have taken that, Jennifer. She's just running. Getting out. I didn't click anything. She just moved on her own. Matisse is closed outside. All right. So now let's get back to the red part of the mansion. No friends, welcome. There's one thing that changes when you um get caught by Mary there. And that's you missed you miss a certain something appearing in a certain room. Ah, running is so bad. Okay, wrong thing. Nope, go. Uh why won't it let me check my items? What happened? Uh oh, is that a glitch? Okay, it fixed itself. My inventory wouldn't come out. What happened there? Hang on, I'm just gonna heal. Okay, so when Jennifer actually does go into rest mode, it heals her much faster, but still waiting for her to just decide to sit on the floor is annoying. Yeah, that's fine. Welcome, friends. I'm honestly just surprised people were able to be here, because, uh, again, I'm streaming at such an incredibly irregular time for myself right now. <laughs> All just because my neighbor's construction mean meant I could not, like, stream during the day. Oh well. We definitely got plenty to upload from today. Anyways. This goes over here. No, I need one to go to the other door over here first. Who are all these paintings of people? I don't know. It says use the key every time, yeah. I know that Scissorman can randomly just decide to, like, appear in the PS1 game, the sequel. Like, sometimes you'll just hear the music and he's chasing you, and it's annoying. Let me go over here now. But I can't remember if that happens in this game. Oh, hi, Yen. Welcome. Get comfy. Your spooks. Oh, I think this room had some extra animations added over from the PS1 port as well. Oh, there it is. They just do that sometimes now. Cool. Can I check any of these? Well, that sucks. <gasps> Beating hearts! I covered my mouth for that. It sounded muffled. Who needs all these beating hearts? There's no other game like this on the Super Nintendo, like, for sure. You know what's kind of a shame is, I believe, like, this game was actually released on the Wii's, uh, virtual console. Oh, sparkly. In Japan. And we still didn't get it over here. A knife shown faintly. Picked up a knife. And I also believe that, um, like for those that don't know, Clock Tower 3 was developed by Capcom. Or rather, at least they published it. They own the IP. Like I said, hang on. What's this first? Oh, it's just a dead body. Oh, with eyes. Wait, that chases me? Oh, that's definitely new. <laughs> what the heck is this? Hang on, I should I wanna see I kinda wanna see what happens when it gets me. Jeez, that was spooky. I think that I I think that's new content? I'm pretty sure. I remember some kind of body being like extra PS1 content.
I gotta specify, because it's really weird, because when I say Clock Tower 2, people are gonna think I'm talking about the spinoff that was titled Clock Tower 2 over here. Which is really weird. All right. Let's not open that now. Let's get the knife. This time, Lee. What was I saying? So, yeah, during the third game, which was the spinoff, Clock Tower Ghost Head, or as it's called over here, Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within, um, Human Entertainment was literally going out of business. Hang on. I'm gonna just do regular recovery. Let her sit for a second. See how long it naturally takes. Um... Okay, yeah, when she goes down, it fills pretty quickly. Still, the speed-up key is nice to have. Um, yeah, during Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within, during development, they were- Human Entertainment was literally going out of business. So they had to rush, like, the last bits of the game. That's why the first section of that game is the most polished. Let's run from it now. And after they went out of business, Capcom bought the bought the Clock Tower IP, and that's why the Capcom logo is on Clock Tower 3, and I believe they got, like, a horror movie director to make that game. And it also has nothing to do with the other Clock Tower games. Let's go. And Capcom also released another horror game. Does that thing chase me? Okay. Okay, it doesn't. Uh... Yeah, another horror game that Capcom made during the PS2 era was a game called Haunting Grounds, and it's highly speculated that during development, that game was Clock Tower 4, but they changed the name because they didn't think people cared about the IP. <laughs> mm. As a lot of gameplay elements seem similar, from what I understand, so I'd like to play Haunting Ground as an unofficial part of this Clock Tower marathon season. Can I check this now? Will it be different? I want to see. Okay, they had motion capture in Clock Tower 3, and the scenes are so overacted. Yeah, I d from what little I've seen, that is true. Is this the same every time? Okay, I thought maybe something would appear after I run away from it once. Haunting Ground is weird as well, because I'm pretty sure for, sure for the main character, they just reuse, like, the, the, the face model of Jill from Resident Evil 1 Remake for, for her, because their faces, like, look so similar. I don't think- oh wait, I can highlight her! I think, yeah, let me use the knife on that body. I don't remember this, so it must be new, so I'm not sure about it, but... But you're right, when I put the cursor on her, I can highlight, so maybe the knife is used for that. I think it might just be a ceremonial knife, though, for the ending. Haunting Ground was also based on a scrap story element from RE4. I mean, a defenseless character. Protected by her doggo's companion. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'd love to give Haunting Ground a try. Okay. Capcom- I believe Capcom still owns the Clock Tower IP, but they have done nothing with it. Imagine if Capcom just announces, like, a Clock Tower remake in the style of, like, the recent Resident Evil remakes. Without the guns, of course. That'd actually be kind of sick. But they're probably- Got better chance of them bringing back Dino Crisis. Nope. Oh, it worked? Wow, I can't believe that worked. There's a key here. The cage key. Okay, that's where they put it. So yeah, it doesn't even tell you the cages are locked, but I needed that. Thank you for suggesting the knife. That was a good call. Hmm. I tried to play Dino Crisis 1. It was during that same season where I said I was going through stuff and wasn't in a great mood. I got a little bit frustrated with some of the later, later puzzles and kind of dropped it. I, I want to give it another chance. But I, I feel like they reuse the same, like, puzzle over and over in that game, and it gets kind of annoying. Like, you, you know the one I'm talking about. The weird, like, like word key system. All right, Dino Crisis 2, I hear, is just all action, and Dino Crisis 3 doesn't exist. It's a video game that was, in fact, never made and never will was ever shipped, never exists anywhere, and definitely not exclusive on Xbox. Man, 
There we go. Let me check in here again. Okay. Yeah, here's a super secret facility where we do super secret research. Let's lock all of our doors with a fifth grade level puzzle. <laughs> that always gets me. Plus, I believe, um... The Dino Crisis speedrun, like, it, you don't even kill any dinosaurs in it. Like, from what I understand, if you know what you're doing in that game, you just shoot a tranquilizer dart on, like, a couple of dinosaurs, and you just run in and out of rooms super quickly. All right. Now let's backtrack here. I got kind of disoriented on this floor because I had to run from Scissorman that one time. The pacifist run. The thing that always, like, absolutely sends me for Dino Crisis 1, though. Can I check any of this? No, I think this room is just pure aesthetic. Wait, what? Oh, there's where the cat ended up. Okay. Oh, you're leaving? Okay. Okay. Let me go back in there. Kick me out. So, yeah, I believe the box in, uh... Yeah, the boxes can be shuffled. I don't remember if this bathroom is in the original version, though. Okay, nothing here now. May as well go inside the door, see if I can. What was I talking about? I got distracted by the cat. Oh, oh, there is a, there is a sweet spot there. Let's check. All right. I don't know. I just, I think PS1 games are very comfy to watch. Something about the visual style combined with horror elements is really nice. Same with PS2, honestly. I felt... I was surprised how much fun I had with Silent Hill 2. Here we go. Yeah, right, the boxes get shuffled. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, the boxes can either have the cat or scissor man, and it gets shuffled. But I can't quite remember if this bathroom is extra content or not in this in this mod. All right. See you know what I mean? This game can be stupid quick if you know what you're doing, but I'm taking my time. We're exploring the haunted house. Honestly, taking it slow and steady has been nice. That body, like, chasing me really freaked me out. Oh, this room. Okay. Let's check over here. Well, I am on the cannon route, so that go that's going to lead us into uh, the next game pretty easily. It's dirty with stains and dusts. With that, nothing over here. This is a French doll. It's hung from the ceiling. Can't remember if there's something here. I think if I, it's a big clown doll. Okay. Yeah, I remember in this room last time I played the game, one of the the panic button inputs wasn't working properly in this room. I think that may have just been a controller issue, but it, it bugged me a lot. Hmm. I can finally look in here now, because I'm not being chased. Things written here look serious. Mm-hmm. All my friends are dead. I ended up doing things unintentionally in an order where they all die. I wonder who lit this. Check over here. Lantern was left here. Picked up the lantern. Okay. Do I use the lantern for the crevice in the library? I can't recall. There's red blotch all over the desk. Empty. And this is the room where What's-Her-Face fell to her death. This is where Anne... 
I shouldn't have looked out the window. Some books. Okay. The story elements I end up missing because of the getting captured by Miss Mary. It's it's never even addressed in the uh, sequel either because I guess it's canon that Jennifer never never finds it, huh? We always a weird decision because I think that the ending where all the all the other girls die is like the C ending or the D ending. They didn't use S or A. Just still weird, but I guess I get it. Just how it is. Let's go over this way, Jennifer. That was the dead end room. Go over here. Continue looking this way. Here's the painted over room. Story element. Let me see if I can open the room first and then I'll explain. I played this game multiple times, so I can just briefly summarize for those that are curious. So first, yeah, Scissorman popped out and ruined my chance to explore here. What you want to do is move this. Actually, for all I know, this mod could have, could have probably changed it so that the story element is still there. Let me see. But there's something in the room up ahead that disappears once you're caught by Mary, because I guess she decides to get rid of it. Let's assume the mod makes it so I can see it. She's moving on her own. Gotta wait for her to do that. So we pick up this little plank here. This won't make enough noise. Just give it a few taps and bam. She has to go move all the way back to be startled. There's a room over there. Okay. Oh yeah, the, the mod didn't change it. Okay. So, notice the tallies on the wall. It hasn't been used in ages. The air in this room is stagnant. There's supposed to be a skeleton sitting on against the wall here, right? Yeah. And it disappears if you get caught by Mary. Because I guess she gets rid of the body. Uh, the body is Jennifer's dad. Who apparently was the doctor that helped Mary um, when she gave birth to the Scissorman. And because he knew the secrets of the, the Scissorman demon, he had, to be, he had to be killed and locked inside this room. It makes about as much sense as I can explain it, because that's how the game explains it. It makes... it's just there. It's just a random thing. It makes no sense why the body disappears. <laughs> it's not even relevant sometimes, or comes up in the sequel. But you can see the tallies there, that he was clearly there for a while. Can I break anything here? No, I can't. Lock up his corpse so it doesn't talk. Makes sense to me. I think he has a letter on him or something. There you go, Jennifer. Let's get out of here. It doesn't, like, there's no key item in here. It's just literally a little bit, a little bit of, like, whoa, lore. That is weird. <laughs> and for some reason, you can't see it if you get captured by Mary, and it's very, kind of an annoying decision. Means you can't see all the important cutscenes in a single run. We're just doing a cannon playthrough, chat. Cannon playthrough. Jennifer doesn't need to discover that. Now, is there anything else over here? Nope. Alright. I have the cage key. So I can go back down to the, uh... Room. That's why this is painted over. Go downstairs again. 
I didn't, ah, uh, damn it, I didn't double tap. <laughs> I, I, I praise the mod for letting me run on stairs, and then what do I do? I keep not double tapping. Oh, then I'll use speed up then, how about that? Fine. So it's can so it's can and she never finds out how her father dies. Yeah. Oh, the cage key is an item. I hate the inconsistencies of the key. Like some keys are just not in the inventory. This one is. And because of that, she became an orphan, and she's at the orphanage. And what Mary does is that um she adopts orphans so that scissormen can chase them around and kill them. I hope I find a way out of here, too. In that touching moment. You let the rats out? The rats ran away. Empty. Empty. What did that do? There's nothing here? Huh. Some hanging crow corpses. They've been decapitated. Nothing but sunshine and rainbows here. I forget why I even do this. Why did I... Why did I open this? I don't even remember. Maybe reset the room. That body is definitely a very cool extra scare. The way it chased you, the cutscene close-up was cool too. Empty. Empty. Is there any other sweet spot here? No. I don't know why I did that. Don't re recall if the crow helps me or anything later. It is very touching how you can just, um... Op like, uh, open it up to set it free, and Jennifer's just like, I hope I get out of there, too. Does the crow help me later? I think I might be thinking of a different game. Ah, oh, great. Let's let her rest there. Can't check these over here. In one of these rooms, there where it's just collapsed. Now I think this around here. I think I need to find stairs again and go down. Oh, this is the extra room. Is there really nothing here? Like, or do they just put like they kind of just copy and pasted some room elements so that like they had something here? which is broken. It's a pretty eerie-looking room. This mirror apparently doesn't do anything. I don't think I can hide under the bed, either. Alright. Let me continue to the side here. I want to check the library again, see if I have the item for the thing in the crevice. Don't remember what that room is. I don't have a key for it, though, clearly. Chat, what's the difference between a crow and raven? Like, is it just the same thing, different names again? I can't- I don't remember if it's one of those, or if there's, like, some kind of difference. Uh... I don't think this is for this, but I may as well try. I'm nearby. Different species, but similar. Ravens are much bigger, okay. There's something shiny here. A key. Copper key. So, wait a second. You could see that it's shiny, but you could reach it the whole time, Jennifer? Okay. Copper key actually gets used there. All right.
Let me open this up. Actually, I should save the copper keys for that one door pass, just, just to make sure. I don't remember what the copper key is for. Um, that one, that one locked door on the first floor in the main area at the start, I think that leads to the ritual, not the ritual room, the study that has the, the painting on the wall you need to see. Is it this door? Let me try for a second here. Seems the door is locked. Let me just check the key. Yeah, it's not for this. I don't remember what the copper key is for. Anyways, I'm doing pretty good gathering these items. I got what I need. Okay. Double checking this, and I'm looking for stairs. It's important to take a look around, chat. Okay, that just leads back to the other side. Check over here. I think this is the doll room I got chased out of because of Scissorman. Yeah, okay. Now, isn't it that there's something over here, right? Nope. Does this room just have nothing? I think it's possible for uh, an important item to be placed here via RNG. So it must be in its other spot. Oh? What's that? Don't remember that. Can't check any of these. Nope, it's just a thing to spook me. Oh, of course it does it again. Guess there's nothing I can do except... Ah, oh, I didn't read the double click. Oh my goodness. Getting so bad with that today. Alright, it's fine. Let me double check over here. Okay, that's that room. We're already done here. Now I need to get back to the other wing of the house. Faster, Jennifer, faster. Okay. Here we go. I think I've picked up every item. Copper key should be the last thing I need. And the locked door should be downstairs here. Go, Jennifer, go. <laughs> how handy that is. Look how much faster that is. Okay. Going over here. E for this will be used automatically. Locked. Copper key. Nope, that's not it either. What do I use the copper key for? I don't remember. Because I've ex clearly I've explored every room in the, the magenta halls. I'm going to double check these, see if a key I got a key for this. 
Now, going over here, actually, is just going to lead me to the, um... It'll lead me back to the, uh, the car. Which I can leave since I know my friends are dead. I probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, there's nothing here. Or does the car disappear? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, the car disappears. Forgot I forgot that happens. As a way to screw with you. Okay. Guide says copper key found in the found in the wall in library. Use is unknown. What do you mean the guide says the it doesn't know what the key is for? Also, chat, can we point out how you can see the, the graphics repeat at this little section here? That's kind of funny. All right, let me go over this way now. I need to get into this room for something important later. Who writes a guide if that's the case? You tell me they just programmed a junk item in the game? A little silly. I've got all these items, but nothing to use them on yet. Okay, we're back to this bathroom. Need to go back to the other hall. Go this way. Run for it, Jennifer. That's the bedroom and lounge room. Don't need that. Okay. The green key, also known as the copper key, depending on the translation, is an item in Clock Tower, the first fear. It is used to open the jail cell in the shed, thereby activating uh, Lottie's cave death. Oh, so I, it's literally useless to me now because I already got captured by Mary. So it's a PS1 exclusive item. So you can do things a little out of order. Locked. That's weird. And lights on here. Okay. Let me try this. A little fast. And there. So I need to get back to the other side of the mansion. I can't do anything here. And it's a long trek, and I know y'all don't want to see it. Okay. Let me just do this. Because going back is such a pain in the butt. There you go. He's going speedy time. So the copper key is useless to me. Which means I missed an item back here. Okay. And we're through here. We're back here. That's all that. This should be the doll room. Okay, it's a doll room. I feel like I may have missed a room on the far right side of the stuff. We go over here. Well, for one thing, what this mod does is I'm actually controlling the game with a mouse, which is pretty huge. And it also adds content from the PS1 port. That's the simplest way to describe this mod. And a lot of little things you can't really notice as a viewer. Okay, that's that. And check that. Nope. No, Jennifer, don't, don't do that. There you go. Hmm. I missed a key somewhere, but what room? This is open again. Let me double check this. That's that. There's really nothing here. It's just a collapsed hallway. W 
Why are you going that way? At no point did I click on the left side of the screen. Alright, let's double check. It's super easy to, like, miss a room in this game, for sure. Because of how all the damn hallways look the same. There's not enough landmarks. So I opened the cage and I got nothing. Was there supposed to be something there? Feel free to look it up, because I feel like I've checked this room too much. Nothing on the statue. I got lucky and found the demon idol, but I don't even need that yet. What's here? Double check this. The piano room. So, normally an important key item can be where these... Excuse me? My ears hurt. I don't recall that being a thing. There's all kinds of music here. Check this before and there was nothing. An important key item can be behind those curtains, but the RNG I got for this was uh, Scissorman behind the curtains. So where's the other item otherwise? Doesn't care. Hmm. All right. Nothing beneath the rug I can check. Nope. This is the adventure game dilemma, isn't it? Where you have an entire inventory loaded with items and nothing to use them on. <laughs> oh, this is dead end here. Great. Okay. I have to heal. All right, time to research the, search the next floor here. Okay, there's nothing there. That's the end. Go in here. Some tableware. Some valuable looking pictures. Hmm. Damn, I don't know what to do right now. I feel like I should have everything, but I'm definitely, like, completely missing something here. Double check this. I'm at a point where I unfortunately kind of have to speed up a little bit. Because there's a lot of, ru like, running back and forth to find what you're looking for. This always happens when you play this game, trust me. Okay. What items are in inventory? The last things I found were the copper key. We know that's useless. Lantern. Cage key. Knife. Demon idol. Perfume. Black robe. Car key. Rope. And rock. Hmm. So the scepter isn't in a different spot. It's just not there because Scissorman was there, right? Hang on, can I do this anyway, even though it hasn't broken? Guess not. Item in the child's bedroom. I feel like I searched that place, but I didn't find it yet. But I know what room you're talking about. Hang on, let's go back there. I think it's over here, because it was to the left of, like, the fireplace room. Uh, yeah, that leads to that. Child's bedroom should be here, I think, if my mental, ma if my mental map here is correct. Yes, it is, okay. Uh, is it that? Oh! It must be under the bed. Whatever. It looks like a child's bed. It's dirty with stains and dust. Damn it, nothing.
Shell is hanging. Checked all this stuff. Oh. The box beneath it. A key was left on it. The ceremony key. And then this happens. What was that sound? <sighs> yeah. Well, it, it's an adventure game. This stuff happens. You check every room five times, and then you realize you gotta hunt for that pixel. Okay, I have to mash the panic button. Or No, that happens then. I never get this one. This one, like, never works for me, no matter what I do. And if you're at low health, you just auto-die. Okay, now that I've done that, ceremony key isn't listed in the inventory. It's for that room I tried to open in the uh, other part of the game. Okay, so let's go back. I should be able to get in there and get what I need for the rest of the game. And that's that. Okay. Now if I could just find where the thing is. And check these. Is that a glitch to dodge it? I'm not sure. I just know that doll annoys me because it doesn't work. Let's head over here. I got what I need, and I should be okay. Okay. Run down the stairs. Glorious deluxe mod. A speed up button is <laughs> pretty much a deluxe mod, though, ain't it? Look at her go. Oh, no, you don't. We need you at full health, lady. There you go. What's the luck about this mod? You know those stairs I just ran down? In the original game, you can only walk downstairs. And I'm using a real mouse. Locked? Oh, that's not the door? It must be the one on the far right side, then, I guess. Hmm. Health, health also recovers faster. Um, and yeah, it adds, it adds a bunch of content from the PS1 version. If you could call an extra body popping out in one room chasing me around an extra little thing. I guess it is. Right, you missed that, though. I'm pretty sure I got the key. That was different. I'm good. Okay, just gonna let her heal. Chat, you saw the eyes, right? Why- why did she go over there? Hang on. The eyes are a rare occurrence. Can I make you speed up and- I'm holding speed up. They're not appearing again. Okay. They're a rare, very rare occurrence. Okay, we're back here. So this better be what I need, because otherwise I don't know where the door is. Probably back in the magenta halls. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Back to the magenta halls, chat. You do not want me to take the intended game speed route. First, let me just heal. So where on earth was the locked door I needed I need this the ceremony key for? There's a locked door somewhere upstairs, wasn't there? It's a library. I think one of these doors was locked somewhat. Oh, this is it. Okay. Finally I found it. Again, all the halls look the same. Let me take a look at this. It's a Celadon vase. I wasn't even sure if I was on the first floor, to be honest. That's why I was confused. I 
double check this for something. Sell it on vase. Okay, I guess the vase is useless in this seed then. I need to let Jennifer heal. There you go. A square hole is visible. The cradle under the star. There's something underneath here. Okay. Strange symbols are written here. Time will cause adherence. What does that mean? These two are right next to each other. Well, when I say seed, it's just the game can randomize a few things when you start the game. This is an iron disc. A cross has been carved into it. Hmm. What's this? This is a crow corpse. Next, completely severed. Okay, so now that I've opened this... How do I get into the other room to look at the wall, though? Uh-oh. I think I'm back to being confused. I didn't get anything in here. Do I double-check this, maybe? Square hole is visible. The cradle under the star. There's something underneath here. Will the idol go there? I thought the scepter was supposed to go there, but is it removed from the seed? Okay, she doesn't want that. I think I put the idol on the disc. Looks like I got it. Cross carving is in place. What was that sound? Okay. Alright, so yeah, I got the idol instead of scepter, so that means... Yeah, I think the scepter can either be in that one curtain, where Scissorman pops out, or it's in the vase itself, weirdly. But I guess this is where I, what I get. I can descend with this ladder here. So I guess I don't need the other room that's that I kept trying to open. I think the caves have an extra scene, but I don't know what it is. Again, I've never played through the first Fear version myself. I think getting a translation working for it is more awkward. Can't do both Scepter and Idol because you got Scissorman in the music room. Okay. So this is another part that people get stuck on. So first of all, uh... Something's there. Okay. So what you're supposed to do here... Took me an attorney to figure out. Can't use it yet, I guess. Hang on, do I have to be closer? Sounds like a dog. I put on a robe. Then I use the perfume. The dog knows this smell very well. It smells like the perfume Mary uses. Now, I think they may have fixed it, but uh, the pixel you have to, like, pixel hunt to know how to use the, the robe on yourself. It's very awkward. I think I'm just about an endgame now. Nice. All right, so we're in the caves. Nice. Oh, wow, I've been playing for two hours. This really flew by. Okay. Elevator. I think if Lottie's still alive, you run into her here. But again, chat, we're now on the un we're now unintentionally doing the cannon route. I've never actually done the cannon ending when playing this on stream or whatever, so that's cool. What? What is it, Jennifer? There's a can here. Looks like kerosene. So I think I should also explain uh, the bit with the scepter I was confused about. Um, That one room in the main hall that I kept trying to open that was locked, what you're supposed to do if the RNG gives you the scepter 
is you're supposed to open that door and in that room there's like a painting on the wall that you're supposed to look at that depicts someone putting a scepter down into a hole into the ground and that's how jennifer is like whoa that's what i'm supposed to do with the scepter but i guess i don't i don't think i've ever actually gotten rng when the set where the scepter doesn't appear so that's probably why i didn't know that i guess getting the idol is uh way better Okay, Jennifer can climb up here. Alright, let's just go over here, chat. I'm sure I'll be happy and wholesome. Again, this game is ridiculously short, but I, I don't know. I've, I've enjoyed taking my time with it this time. Hmm. You can't see everything in a single run, unfortunately. Just That's just how it is, but... Yeah, I didn't get a lot of Scissor Man popping out, which is very strange. There's definitely a lot more from the next game. There's a lot more RNG events of Scissor Man popping out, but I didn't get as many. Uh oh. Okay. Here he comes, chat. Get up, Jennifer. So, when Miss Mary gave birth, she actually had twins. This is the other one. Uh, okay, I gotta click for panic button. so weird because it's ah oh, it's right click ah come on there we go there he goes ah ah Okay. So, there's one... Oh! Oh, okay, it actually shows it. Nice. This is another cutscene that is only in PS1 chat. I've never actually seen this. I've only heard of it. You see somebody pop out of that. So, um, why is that important? Um, in the sequel game, um, the Scissor Man in that game is supposed to be that giant blob guy, but so for this, P for the PS1 port, they added an extra cutscene to show that he lived, basically. And yeah, the mo this mod adds that in, which is really cool. I I'm pretty sure a lot of you have never seen that before, so, uh, can no longer smell the perfume dog won't be tricked again okay let's go this way then yeah okay let me heal because i need this all right i should probably just walk <laughs> i'll be fine so i think yeah like yeah that's a pretty cool thing it's a very obscure cutscene because it was only added to like because the first fear port was made after Clock Tower 2. Can I, I not go over here? Okay, I can't. I guess I go to the elevator now. Okay. So that's cool. The PS1 content they added is like, um, it was a bunch of little things, but I definitely appreciate seeing it. Okay. There we go. Chat, I forget with the twins. I know they're Bobby and Dan, but which one's which? I never remember. Okay, we're gonna die. In the context of, of this game, who was the one that just came out of the meat pile? And who was the one that's been chasing me around in this game? Bobby is the OG Scissor Man. Okay, so the, the big guy that... Uh, the big guy in Scissor Man number two is, is uh, Dan. Bobby's been chasing you around, okay. Yep, 
Yeah, I did the I did the uh, the mummy room with the knife. Okay. What? What? Excuse me. What? Why did I just die? Excuse me? Was I supposed to... Forgot to see Lottie die, that's what happens. Oh! But I saw Lottie ran outside and clearly got shot. Was I supposed to run outside when that happens for that, for that to be a thing? Oh. Oh. I didn't know that. I didn't actually know you could go outside. Dan and Bobby, friends. Okay. Yeah, the credits refer to them as Dan and Bobby. So because that happened, I just die in the elevator? That's really silly. I don't think I've ever actually seen this ending before. Uh, anything else? No, it just fades out. Save? No. No, 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 that's not how this game works. This game only has a continue for the last part you were in. Which means when I hit continue... Yep, yeah, I'm locked onto it. Well, poopy. Alright, chat. We're gonna put the quick and quick start. Alright, then. We have started over. And we are gonna become adventure game heroes. So, this gives me a chance to show off something else. Normally when the bathroom, um... Yeah, normally you're supposed to walk in there and Scissorman pops out of the bathtub, but if you completely ignore that... But if you completely ignore that, and just decide, hey, I'm gonna go to the next room... Anne! And Anne fell to her death yet again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just do this. Seems the door is locked. Now we'll just do this. Where'd her body go? Don't ask me. There he goes. All right, now let's just heal. Pick up the stuff. Insecticide, pick up the rope. And let's find out if the, the thing's got that. Okay, now I need to reset the room because it doesn't like me dealing with the um thing, okay. Here's what you do. You look you look at the bird nest and instead of poking it right away, you push the box. Isn't that silly? West wing key. Okay, it was there. Okay, um rest. Okay. So, now I should go since we're doing this, how about I go for the extra thing? The body. Let me see the body again. Okay, first, let me get the ham. I might need this. Use the insecticide. I don't think there's a soul out there that cares I'm using the, um... Speed up for this. That's that there. There's no point picking up the car key. Okay. I have the West Wing key now. So, it's literally not possible to save all three girls, right? You can only save two at max, I'm pretty sure. 
We don't hear a scream because Anne died a different way. Nothing in here. That's that room. Okay. Apparently it's canon that all the girls, like, bullied Jennifer or something. Don't feel too bad for them. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to go up that way. Look at that. Now look at that. So what happens, I believe, is that the floor can still collapse there, and you're supposed to use the rope to tie that so you can climb up and down. Uh, hang on, you know what I'm gonna do? Hang on. Let me make a save state, just in case. Uh, can I click out of the thing here? Let me just do that. There we go. Ah, of course it's him. Of course it's him. All right. He's not going to do anything. I'm too fast. Oh, no, he's coming. Wasn't Didn't click fast enough. There's a room over there. Okay. All right, I got in fast enough. This is good. We can see the extra scene. I'm sure I'm giving you the whole tour today, chat. See, I told you. Look at that. <laughs> it makes no sense why it disappears. As a menu used in ages. The air in this room is stagnant. Getting that bad ending means I can just show you extra content. A black medical bag. The name's embroidered here. Walter Simpson. Walter Simpson? Fuh. There? She takes her sweet time saying that. No, oh, she's got to do that again. Hang on. Takes for- I have to use speed up just for her to say one word. Alright. It's holding a piece of paper. It looks like a memo. Look at that actress holding a spirit Halloween skeleton decoration. 11-10-1986. This is the third day. I, Dr. Walter Simpson, have been in here. I will not last long. Before I die, I will record this. Okay. There are twin children who are a blemish on this world. When the lady was to give birth, I was called to this house. She gave birth to two chill, no, demons. When they were born, they ate my right hand. <laughs> I forgot about that. They were ill, their bodies deformed. They should have died, but they lived. I should have tried to. Breathing is painful. The air in this room is already gone. They are in a cradle under the star. Jennifer. 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 I told you, it makes about as much sense as my explanation earlier. They both ate his right hand. Yeah, they both took a bite out of it. So, if I'm not mistaken, now that I've done this, if I walk into a scene with Miss Mary where she offers the drink, something different happens, right? Or does that lock me out of another ending? Skeleton. Check any other part of it. Check these. Looks like a chart. The patients were two newborn babies.
You encounter Mary. Okay, hang on a second. Mary and Patience names. The name of the master of the house. Mary Barrows. Okay. Let me check this. It looks like someone was counting days. Marks are cut into this wall. Okay. Once you see your father, Jennifer knows Mary's evil, and Mary will instead try to kill her. Okay, let's get out of here before the RNG activates on that box. Okay. And over here. Make sure I heal. Windows not busted. There's a pool in the courtyard. Wait, the lantern's not here. Guess I don't need it. Some books. Middle-aged woman. Wonder who lit this. Children's bedroom should be over here. No, I know how to open the cage. That even does anything. Okay. Ceremony key. So let me try this thing. Someone said I can just... Okay. Yeah, I can walk around it like that, which is weird. Okay, let's do that. I think this doll can sometimes do something, right? Can't even interact check it anymore though. And check this. Okay. Gotta call the night, that's fair. I'm streaming incredibly late today anyway. Copper key does nothing for me. Do I need it now? I think I need to check this. No, I need to check one of these books. Various technical books. Author's name is faded. Hang on, did I check this? Books are lined up here. Wait, I don't see the serious book? Wait a second, I think I remember how this works. If you get the demon idol, you have to check a book in the library to know to use it. But if you get the scepter, you have to check that one room, right? I think. It's a little bit convoluted, but you know what I mean. Hang on. Okay, that's that. Okay, let's go in here. Don't mind that noise. A knife, picked it up. Alright, if you missed this earlier, chat, here's the here's the thing. I won't skip it. This is great. Run, Jennifer. Yeah. No! Oh my god. <sighs> Why did you click the car keys, you stupid idiot? <laughs> Alright, fine. Carefully, do not hit anything but continue. Let me get the knife first. Heal first. Slash! Just crumples. Okay, I got the cage key. I don't know what the cage key actually does, though. What does releasing the raven do? I'm not sure on that, actually. Oops. Let me get out of here. It's needed for best ending. Saving the crow is needed. I'm totally forgetful of what that does. But, uh... What room was it? It was one of the rooms up here. 
This is why I don't mind using speed up, because I played at the intended way for most of this. And I have to restart because this game is a nightmare for stuff like that. And that's that. Okay, it's downstairs. I'm just gonna walk so I don't spend energy since I'm speeding up anyway. Oopsie. That means the scepter should be here, right? Yep, I got the different RNG, I told you. It's silly. So I have to do the staff route. I can't do the demon idol. So there's no point checking the statue for it. Did I pick it up? Okay, I did. Okay. Oh! I forgot that could happen. How about we leave? He's not chasing me. Okay. I guess I'm getting the chance to show off everything, so that's good. Hmm. Um, I think at this point, let me make another save state just in case. Giving you the whole tour chat. Save slot two. Okay, that's that. Ah, oh, here it is. Hi, mine, and welcome. Cage key. You missed the spooky body. Empty. Empty. What is it? I think the crow, like, attacks Mary at the end or something. Alright, here we go. I'm here, but I can't use the scepter yet, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I don't think che checking these does anything, but just in case. Okay. Thank you for the resub, Mina. 42 months. So if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, um... I got locked on a ending that kills me at the end, so I had to restart, so that's why I'm using speed up just to pick up key items, because Jennifer is slow. Can anything happen with this mirror? Let me try. This is a super short game, but I'm, I'm taking my time with this playthrough, which says a lot with the speed up key, don't it? How'd I get locked into that? It's because I didn't stare at a girl in the, at the right moments. I'm not even joking. Okay. Like, I, I know this girl died, but I didn't, like, go into a room and watch her die, so apparently that means I die at the end and I can't do anything about it. I think something can be in this dress sometimes. That's the one that moves. Okay. Nope, nothing here this time. I think the scepter can be in that room. Okay, doing this to heal. What do I got? Age key, that's open. The knife is for that. I have the ham, right? Okay. Let's go in here now. Okay, let's see what happens. Miss Mary? Glad to see you safe, Jennifer. Mm-hmm. Is there something wrong? Come here. She's got a knife. Oh. There's no panic flashing. I thought I was waiting to mash. I guess I'm supposed to do something there. Okay, let's try that.
Okay. No, I just leave. Is that is that really that it? <laughs> now she's gone. Okay. Various beverages. Black robe. I need that. Oh! What? Laura! Why is she in the armor? <laughs> what? Oh no, is that another one of those I, I, I saw them dead, so now they're dead forever? I don't remember that being a thing. You can't check the phone. It just says the line's cut when you check it. Yep. Okay, I should reload the state then. I, I don't know if I knew about that one. That's really random. Now you're no longer on best ending. Oh, yeah, that... You see what I mean about why I don't recommend playing this game yourself? <laughs> it's so annoying with stuff like that. All right, let's load two. What do I got? I got the scepter, or the staff, as it's called in this translation, apparently. I did, hang on, did I open the cage? I don't even remember. I should probably do that. Okay, there's that. Oops. Open the door there, Jennifer. No, Jennifer. I don't remember if I opened the cage in this state. Okay, good thing I did that. I need that. Rats doesn't do anything. Okay. Let me this time not check the suit of armor when I go back. That's the room I need to get into. I don't pretty sure I don't have it. I need to go upstairs. Yeah, it's I may have missed it in chat, but it's again, it's impossible to save all three girls, right? One of them will die no matter what you do at the start. In some way, it's just unavoidable. Okay, let me just heal. Making another save state. Boop. Lots always doomed. Wait, what? Oh, but but Anne died at the start, remember? Does that mean I can't get best ending, remember? Wait, she's not here? Is it random? Uh-oh. Mary's not here, why? Oh, alright, it's just random. Okay, that didn't need to happen, I guess, but let me take the robe. All right. I don't think I can get S rank ending, but that one's really a pain in the ass to get anyway. It looks like Lot's always going to die, or Lottie. Hmm. Oops. Yeah, I know. I'm still getting items down here. Don't worry. The bathroom. No, no, no. Don't go in here. Okay. Need to go over here. That's this room. Perfume. There's nothing in this. Okay. Hang on. Let me say silver key. Are you talking about like in the room in Mary? Hang on. A silver key is under the glass. Oh, okay. That's the library key. Thank you. I thought if you interact with this too many times, Jennifer automatically drinks it because she's an idiot. Okay, so I can get in the library now. 
So I could get in here at any point. It's just it was unnecessary in the last seed. Yeah, here it is. Man, I'm showing everything here. All right, posture and hydrate. Don't worry, I'm doing it. There's a note here. Time will cause adherence. The clock tower's clock stopped. Okay. Various chemicals are on the desk. Nothing. So this is another annoying thing. You look at the shelf. It's hard to understand. It has chemical symbols on it. This is hard to understand. The mural covers the entire wall. Part of it's hidden behind that shelf. Now Jennifer will push this shelf. It's really annoying. Stretch. All right, I'll do that. And that's how Jennifer knows what to do. Hang on, let me click it. Hmm. Uh, is she gonna interact with it? It depicts a ceremony. That room's somewhere in this house. Now I check this part. Um, hang on. So, now Jennifer knows what to do, I think, right? Alright. So now I go back to the other wing. Okay. I'm on the first floor. Oh, wrong room. Okay, do that there. Ceremony room should be around over here. Nope. Here it is. This room looks like the one in the mural. All right, so as we got staff RNG, and we do that. Nice, I get to show off everything, I guess. Square hole is visible. The cradle under the star. Oh no, am I missing something? There's something underneath here. Oh no, it's not working. Did I free the raven? Yeah, I did. Uh oh, I might be missing something. Wait, no, I put this. Do I put the scepter in the vase, I think? Oh, I had it backwards. You don't find the scepter in the base. Or a vase. What was that sound? Yeah, yeah. I had it. I had it backwards. I was on the right track. It was just misremembering. All right. Item check, chat. Um. So far, Laura and Lottie are alive. So, I shouldn't die in the elevator this time. I got the perfume and the robe. Uh, I haven't needed to meet up with Mr. Barrows. We saw the dead father. I think I'm good, but before I go down, just in case, I'm gonna make another state. Let me do that. Okay. I'm gonna send here. All right. Something's here. Okay. Put on the robe. All right, and now we're good. Let's go see this. What are you freaking out about? Oh! Lottie! Lottie! Because I wasn't captured, she's here now. You're still alive? 
Jennifer. The switches in the clock tower. Lottie. Don't leave me all alone. All right. So either she gets shot by Mary or she, you just encounter her in the way like this, and this has to happen. Wait, I can't go this direction. So if I didn't go this... If I went into the cave entrance first, would she be alive right now? I'm not quite sure. This game is so convoluted with some stuff. Okay. Go this way. All right, now let's go through this. And for those of you that didn't see this earlier, this part of the game adds an extra cutscene that kind of connects things to the sequel, which is cool. All right. Okay. Let me just heal up fully. All right. All right, let's just go over here. Laura's alive. I didn't see her dead in the armor. Here he comes. It's, uh, uh, Dan. That's right. Get up, Jennifer. Get ready to mash right click. Nowhere else to go! I think she's guaranteed to slip and fall no matter what you do. Game said object permanence isn't real. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna run like hell. Uh. All right, here it is. I'm gonna, it's gonna show again if you missed it. Normally, this this little pan over here isn't in the original. The mods the mod adds it in. It makes it more clear that he lived and he becomes the Scissorman of the second game. It's like not very well explained at all. Okay. Now I'm gonna open this up and I'm not gonna randomly die for no reason, right? <laughs> I really hope not. Okay, good, good. Nothing happened. Nothing, okay, there we go. Best ending is third floor, you could choose second too. Hang on a second, really? I didn't realize I had a choice there. Can I go back in? No, I can't. Well, I'm, I'm already on two now. I guess I'll have to load the state in a second. It's fine. I can just speed through the Dan cutscene. All right, let's go this way first. Get multiple endings. Locked once you choose a floor. Oh, well. It's still the best ending, just a different cutscene. Why am I here? Miss Mary. Jennifer. You've been a terrible daughter. My... What is that flash? My son is dead because of you! Oh. I... I... I my finger hit the speed up key. <laughs> I just let myself die. Oh, that's so silly. Okay. Alright. Alright. Her 
Her face is even creepier now. Okay, get rid of the mash, right click. Am I supposed to run or what? How about over here? Don't mind me, I'm going this way. I don't think I've ever seen this end part before. Oh. If you go the second floor route, it makes freeing the crow pointless. Okay. Well, what if you don't free the crow and go to the third floor? You just die? Okay, she's gone. Bobby? Bobby! Get this girl! She's the one who killed Dan! There we go. Yeah, you have to check that specific part of the ladder. Okay. Yeah, I think second floor does not give you best ending. It's okay, I, I save stated before I went to the caves. I can just speed through it. I think speed up was the best decision I did here. It let me show off a lot more than I usually do in these playthroughs. Oh! Ah! There she goes. Where's Laura? We're in the clock tower. Heck yeah. Oh, here he is for some reason. It's done. Goodbye, Bobby. So that's why it's called clock tower. Yeah, we were in a clock tower the whole time. <laughs> God dang it, Bobby. I told you not to play with them gosh dang scissors. Look what happened. You fell right from the top floor. That boy ain't right, I tell you what. All right, we did it. Where's Laura? Does she just not show up? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, all right. Uh, this is the A ending, really. I thought that this would be like B or C. Whoa, the rest of the song is kicking in. Wow. Let me just skip through this. This is C ending? Okay, it's fine. All right. All my friends are dead. This was the canon ending. I just, yeah, I got it. That's true. I guess it is possible for Jennifer to learn about her father and have all her friends die. Hang on. I should save all the other stuff I've done, yeah. All right, but now let's load the save state and get the other possible ending, and I think we can call it a stream after that. Okay. Something's here. All right. This time, what if I ignore Lot Lottie? There's no HUD in this room. Oh, she can... you can fail that. I thought you couldn't. It didn't seem like it mattered. Oh, well. All right, it's fine. Oh, 
Uh oh, what happened there? Jennifer, you okay? I don't think she's okay, chat. I'm mashing. I don't think it's gonna flash properly now, though. That's a glitch. All right. Let's just heal. All right. Wait, what? Oh, so I have to see Lottie die in the caves too. That is so, that is so arbitrary for crying out loud. <laughs> you have to watch Lottie die there too. All right, let's load it again. <laughs> I told you it's so weird. Okay. Hang on, let me just get the robe ready. No, Scissorman was in the elevator. All right. Lottie, you're dead? Good. Now I can get on with my life. Okay. Time to run. Uh, okay. When you pass that quick time event, it's like... Still fails you anyway, but it fails you in a positive way. Okay. Now elevator. Now I go to floor three. Okay. He's coming. He was somehow right in the elevator with me. Now we get to this thing from the other side. There he goes. Not a whole lot of scissormen to give the Kermit voice in this playthrough, was there? Don't worry, you'll see- you'll be seeing a lot of him in the sequel. And I mean, a lot. Because boy, does he love to pop up constantly. My adopted daughter! You! I'll kill you! She got electrified, chat. I don't remember this. All right. Oh, I got the B ending. All right, then. A crow doesn't matter, then. So I guess Laura didn't appear. So it seems that either the C ending or the B ending can be canon. Laura's definitely dead. She's not showing up, though. Like, I thought, like, if, someone, if one of them survived, they show up, like, at the elevator part. But it's really arbitrary to keep characters alive, as you can see. Alright. Yeah, it's B ending. If you save someone, they're literally with you in this cutscene here. Alright. And now it goes back, chat. We did it. I can let the credits play while we just outro here, chat. Alright. I'd say this is where we can just go ahead. Maybe it needs to be Anne. Lottie always dies, but I know it's possible to have, like, at least two girls with you in this cutscene, right? Unless I'm losing my mind. But... A lot of stuff is random in this game, for sure, yeah. I like how the character they're just called friends in the credits. <laughs> yeah. Ending A can still be considered canon, because a friend can still die and Jen stays alone. Is it possible for that to happen? I don't quite know. I think the S ending is two people survive. 
S ending has a lot of RNG specific runarounds, it seems. Are you serious? The RNG can actually make it impossible to get the S ending? That's actually a load of crap. Hang on. Let me turn the audio down for this part. Boop. That is silly, yeah. I wasn't aware of that. Oh well, chat. Speedrun must be a shot in the dark with your ending, yeah. Graphic Helper. That's a fun credit. Shoutouts to Graphic Helper Kojiro. Okay. Alright, chat. So I ended up playing this for almost three hours. Um, I ended up doing, like, <laughs> a lot of speed up at the end for because I had to start from the beginning to make sure stuff worked, but... I think that I'm pretty satisfied with this stream because I was able to show off just about everything aside from the best possible ending, which is it's not even canon, so it doesn't matter that much. And it's a very it's the most arbitrary crap possible. But um, I had a lot of fun with this chat. It was pretty good. These almost three hours flew by pretty quickly. We got both canon endings. Yeah. The canon ending is it's Jennifer's the only survivor. It's literally the basis for the second game. Here we go. But all right, chat. That was pretty good. So if I do this, okay, that was B again. Doesn't say C there because I did the other thing. That was pretty fun. I hope you enjoyed this year's Clock Tower replay. Uh, again, the deluxe mod's really good. There is a lot of small stuff, though, that, like, you as the viewer can't really notice, but I think the, the most notice, noticeable thing is the PlayStation content. Um, again, a lot of it's probably very minor, but it's cool that they had the extra cutscene for Dan, so it's his, his uh, appearance is explained in the next game. Um, especially since, like, you don't realize he's the large demonic guy at all. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, the weird animated dead body in that one room is very strange. Um, what did I drop again? The cage key? I guess I didn't end up using the free raven, but I think in the A ending, what happens is that Mary tries to stab you, and the raven just kind of, like, flies in and just kind of, like, hounds her, and, and she it makes her fall off the railing with Bobby. I think that's what happens. But it's not a big deal. She got electrocuted, and that was way more cool this time around. But I enjoyed it, chat. I thought this was really cool. Um, It's probably the most thorough run-through, because I think the last time I played this game, it was just like an hour long, and uh, I didn't use... I think I only used Speed Up for, like, the stairs, because they're that bad. Oh, hang on. I gotta tab out, because I'm using Super Nintendo mouse here. Should probably change it back to Joypad so it doesn't throw me off later. Yes, I'm going to replay the struggle within the season. I'm going to have an absolute walkthrough hand, like on the side ready, though, because that game's a mess. But I hope you enjoy, chat. Um, I've really just been wanting to do some cozy little horror game playthroughs recently. And um, I'm a little bit stalled with what I can get done because of my neighbor's construction. But I hope you all enjoy this. This is where we're going to end it. Have a good night. Bye-bye.